Soldiers control the land, ships command the seas, aircraft protect and support surface forces and dominate the skies. On July the 2nd, 2016, Frederick Versailles CBE, on behalf of the Flying Navy Heritage Trust and the Royal Navy Historic Flight, launched an exciting new initiative. Navy Wings was born. Actions like Taranto, Pearl Harbour, the sinking of the Bismarck, Midway, Palembang and the Falklands all demonstrated the importance and effectiveness of naval aircraft. With the ability to exercise overwhelming force, both air to surface and air to air, and to dominate vast areas of land, sea and sky, the aircraft carrier came of age in World War II and irrevocably wrestled the crown of the seas away from the battleship. Navy Wing's motto is Inspire and Remember. The remarkable story of British naval aviation starts in 1909 and is characterised by innovation, heroism and sacrifice. It's an inspirational tale. British designers, engineers and airmen led the way. We built the first ship with a full-length flight deck, quickly followed by the first specifically designed as an aircraft carrier. This is the pattern that we recognise today with the starboard side island control tower. The steam-powered launch catapult was a British invention, as were the Fresnel optical landing aid, the angled flight deck and the ski jump. They have all become standard features and carriers in naval forces around the globe. British naval pilots can claim the first strategic bombing raid, the first sinking of a ship by air-launched torpedo, the first use of aircraft in a sea battle, and it was a fleet air arm pilot who claimed the first British aerial victory in World War II. It was Britons like the remarkable Captain Eric Winkle Brown of the fleet air arm, the world's greatest ever test pilot with an unbeatable tally of 487 types of aircraft flown, who broke numerous records. These included the first landings of a jet aircraft, a twin-engine aircraft and a tricycle undercarriage aircraft and a carrier, and many more. It was naval pilots in their flimsy swordfish biplanes who crippled the Italian fleet at Taranto, protected the Arctic convoys and helped to win the Battle of the Atlantic. It was aircraft like the powerful Sea Vixen, with its ability not only to intercept an intruder, but also to deliver a nuclear response that provided a deterrent which helped protect us all by keeping the peace in the Cold War. It was heavily outnumbered fleet air arm pilots in their revolutionary Harrier aircraft who commanded the skies over the Falkland Islands. Naval aircraft have continued to make a significant and positive contribution in major conflicts around the globe until the present day. Their impact on the history of our nation should neither be underestimated nor unrecognised. Britain's two new state-of-the-art carriers equipped with the breathtaking F-35 and the latest British designed and assembled helicopters will continue to serve and protect the nation with leading-edge technology. Through more than a century of naval aviation, innovation has powered the development of ideas. Not only to win the conflict, but also to keep the peace. Or simply to cater for the unique challenges faced by those flying from ships at sea. So, what is Navy Wings? Navy Wings is the public face of the Flying Navy Heritage Trust in partnership with the Royal Navy Historic Flight. Our precious flight includes the only remaining airworthy British Cold War jet fighter, the world's last flying de Havilland Sea Vixen. We also maintain three of the world's last five flying ferry swordfish including the oldest flying example. Two Hawker Sea Furies, those hugely powerful pinnacles of piston engineering, and an aircraft much loved for its sterling service as a trainer, the de Havilland Canada Chipmunk. Our extended flight of diverse associate aircraft, owned by enthusiasts who embraced the Navy Wing's ideal 
includes a rapidly growing number of rotary and fixed-wing aircraft to illustrate more chapters in this powerful story. Navy Wings is also a mission. What are its aims? To keep historically important naval aircraft flying? To tell the story of the people, the innovation, the heroism and the sacrifice that has been the prevailing theme of more than a hundred years of naval aviation. To create and develop an association of like-minded pilots and owners of historic naval aircraft, rotary and fixed wing, to better illustrate the story and make it even more potent. To inspire future generations by having a better knowledge of the past. To remember all those involved in more than a century of exceptional achievement and endeavour. The story of naval aviation started in 1909. The story of Navy Wings started in 2016. Help us to tell the story. Help us to inspire as our forebears inspired us. Help us to remember the sacrifices of those who have protected a nation, this nation. Help us to keep these important historic aircraft flying. Become part of the story. Join us. These aircraft are national treasures. I always think of the number of young men I knew who laid down their lives. It would be an absolute travesty if all this was forgotten. <laughs>